we're going to check out the internet historian. This guy uploads literally like once a year, and they're usually banger videos. So let's go ahead. This video meets the criteria legal and fair use. The following is a satire journalist in nature. Feel free to react to these videos, but please wait. What? This was for me. This is for me. This is for me. This is for me and Asmongold. Feel free to react to these videos, but at least wait 48 hours from initial upload date before the re uploading to YouTube. This following is not endorsement to get condoning or harassment towards individuals featured in this video. This was two days ago, so let's go. <coughs> tisk, tisk, tisk. Welcome back. Look at you. Uncultured. Ooh. Unsophisticated. Ooh. <laughs> Middle class. I hate them. No. How dare speak. they? You'll just make me row up. <laughs> I'd say cover up with this dinner jacket, but I'm afraid that you'd get your head stuck in the sleeve and asphyxiate. Help, I'm stuck. Listen, lowball. <laughs> don't you want to be? He's spitting, bro. Fine. Yes. Don't you want to be fancy? Yes, I do. Oh. Yes. How? That's French. I don't expect you to know what it means. What does it mean? But I have some good news. <laughs> Before this financial year ends, I have decided to make a charitable deduction. Oh yeah? It's you, champ. For you see- Is this an ad? ad? Oh, this virus. I have- Nah, she was spitting. You, champ. For you see, I- You can have premarital oh, sex. Oh, this... She was speak. She was, she was spitting. Let her cook. Virus. Let her cook. I've made several videos, though, which will show you how to bluff your way to the inner circles. Undertaker. <laughs> yeah. By the time the elites find out, Neon Genesis Evangelion is it's too late and intense. <laughs> it will be too late. I get you in. You yeah. know your dough. Or doors. That's the plan. Okay. Everything your instructions. How do we do it? Theater. Ah, the YouTube I don't want to do that. Society. I don't want to do that. Uh, fuck the that. the first section. Symphony. Bro, is that the PlayStation Four? <laughs> The first period of performance, that's called Baroque. From 1600 to 17... <laughs> nah, that was me in 2006. Ugh. The first period of performance, that's called Baroque. Yep, broke as fuck. From 1600 <laughs> to 1750, this featured Bach... From 2000, from 1997 to 20, 2021, that was me. Yeah. Yeah. There was also a guy named Giuseppe Tartini, and he was the best one oh. of them all, because one evening he had a dream where the devil showed up and presented oh, him yeah. with a deal. Okay, what did it say? The devil would become his teacher and impart on him everything he knew about music. How to drop the bass. Yes. Okay. Once Tartini had <laughs> learned everything he could, he handed over his violin and asked the devil to play. Yo, isn't it the devil supposed to be the best violin player on earth? The devil played the greatest musical piece that Tartini- How great was my astonishment on hearing the sonato of so wonderful, beautiful played? It was, wow, wait, 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 this was, wait, this was real. He had ever- Holy shit. <gasps> it, it, and then he woke up. With a gasp, and he tried to recreate- what Hell he nah, he couldn't. Dream. He couldn't do and it. what he wrote down was his most famous piece, the best thing he had ever written. And he said, this is shit yes. compared oh. to the original. This is nothing better yeah, yeah. than a Yeah, yeah, the truth. devil did it better, yeah. And that's where you get the Tenacious D song from. Yeah. He named this piece, The Devil's Trill. And he claimed that the difference between his version and the version in the dream was so great that he would have smashed his violin <laughs> and quit music forever. <laughs> I not needed it for his job. <laughs> Bro said, fuck this shit. Bah! I fucking hate this music shit, man, but it pays bills, so I'm gonna guess I'm gonna keep doing it. <laughs> Classical, 1750 to 18. The good old days. Mozart and Beethoven. Yeah. So like, da, 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 da. Now, Beethoven was famously known for going deaf. Yeah. Bro couldn't hear what he was cooking. He should just quit music forever. But he just wouldn't. And then what happened? <laughs> anyway, there's so much I could say about these two. Uh, anyway. Bro, how much do you think these videos of Internet Historian is getting his info from fucking Wikipedia, bro? Wikipedia is the greatest website on earth. I have donated to Wikipedia before. 
And I would hope everybody on earth at least donates one dollar to Wikipedia a year, bro. Because if this site dis- disappears, a lot of y'all going to be fucked. Point blank here. A lot of y'all would be fucked if Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, did not exist. There's Real so shit. Much I could say about these two. Uh, Romantic era. Now that's when everybody started kissing, and it's my favorite. Great piece. Mwah. Oh, you played wonderfully too. Mwah. Yo, did they really kiss on the lips back then? All you need to know about this one is Chopin and Berlioz. Berlioz, however, was not getting any kisses. He was relatably painfully single. Damn. Living alone in Paris. Damn. The city of love. What else is in Paris? So here's how it started. He's there and he's in his early 20s and he is looking for a new GF. So one day he attends a Shakespearean play and on stage he spots an actress and he immediately falls in love with her. He wrote her many notes confessing his love, but her DMs went unreplied. Damn, I hate when so that he happens. began writing a symphony about Oh, it. Harriet. Ah, how can she ignore this? You're so nice. Also around this time, Simp he started ass. smoking a lot of opium. But oh, don't worry about hey, anyway, there it is. So he wrote this piece <laughs> just for her. However, his DM still went unreplied. Bro. For several months, he started to get quite disheartened. But the thing is, you made a song about her. So if that song becomes popular, I bet you she going to come running, bro. <sighs> Go ahead and start playing Until it. Until he saw another girl. So oh, well, we're gonna, <laughs> we gonna change the name. We're gonna change the name of this. <laughs> so now it's about this. Other <laughs> That's how you get the draws, my guy. That's it's how you get the draws. That ugly one that I didn't like anyway. Damn. This time, <laughs> happily, she reciprocated. Nah, low key, low key. Is this really what she looked like? I didn't it, like anyway. Is if this is accurate, bro? She really is bad, bro. Like this was. She was in the 1800s. She kind of bad for the 1800 baddie, bro. This time, happily, she reciprocated, and they fell in love and were set to marry. Duh, Some tells me that didn't happen. What the fuck? Phones haven't been invented yet. Yes, hello. I'm busy. Real shit. Oh, Rome to study. Rome. Absolutely. I'll catch the first flight out. So <laughs> yeah. went to Rome to study music. Bro, what the fuck? Bro, people dead ass really had to walk from one end of the planet to the other to go do some shit, bro. Fuck that. However, well, not walk, but I'm sure he had a horse or some shit. While he was away, he got some news. Berlioz, I have to tell you something. <laughs> Je ne sais quoi. <laughs> Sacre blue. Oh, no. Some other more handsome musician Swooped in and married his girl while he was in Rome. Damn. Berlioz. Damn. That's what happens, bro. Hey, she wasn't for you. She wasn't yours, bro. It was just your turn. Remember that. And he set his mind to solve the problem. Make a new song, like Taylor. I know what I'm going to do. Make a song about it. I'm gonna murder her and her lover. Well, shit! <laughs> I don't blame him! <laughs> oh, okay, okay, well, okay, the mom didn't have nothing to do with that. Uh, I mean, I, <laughs> holy and then shit! I'm gonna do a self murder. All right, so this is happened. Elaborate. His idea is. Not a joke. This really is his plan and described in his memoirs. He would effectively name the former mother in law to be the hippopotamus. God damn! He despised her especially because he believes she has set up the whole marry while away plan motivated to prevent Camilla from marrying Berlis because he was poor. Bro, how poor is he? Bro was going from Frit from France to Rome to learn, bro. That don't sound like no poor people shit. To dress up as a housemaid. He has bought both poison and two guns. Now he is going to sneak into the house of his ex fiance and there she and her mother will be sipping tea, which he has already poisoned. Then he will f- pull off the clothing and reveal himself. Blam, blam. <laughs> Bro. Bro, I need to just know that this did, did, did it work? Did the plan work? Did the plan work? If the plan worked, I ain't got nothing to say. To Paris to do it. 
But while on he had a change of heart, he had a change of fate, change of heart. He has to change carriages. And when he does that, he leaves the guns Damn. in one of the little cubbies. <laughs> Damn! So he's lost all his weapons. <laughs> Fuck! Turn what around! Do now? Buy new guns. Well, his next leg on the stop is Genoa. And he decides, you know Genoa. what? Genoa. We Let's sail for Genoa. And go straight to the finale. So he stops off in the port city of Genoa. He gonna kill. And he's there at the side of the Mediterranean. Come on, bro. We're in Genoa. For a moment. Don't do it. throws himself in. Now, some people see this whole thing happen, and they think he's had an accident, so they run in to try to save him. They pull him to the shore. <laughs> David Hasselhoff! He lived. So he has now reached his lowest point. He Bro tried to die, to home. lived. He gets back to Paris, and he wallows around, feeling pretty sorry for himself. Why didn't you try it again? <laughs> he decides... You know Holy what? Shit. I may as well do what I do best. Make in music. Times of trouble. Make music. Okay. Smoke a lot of opium. Oh. And while I do that, I shall write a symphony. Although okay. I ain't gonna name it after that ho. <laughs> <laughs> oh heart. God! Fuck that. So <laughs> he went back to work. But here's the thing: it was the greatest piece he had ever written, and it premiered to a huge. The symphony fantastic. Smash. Hit. And guess what? They came idea. back. BTS. God damn. Bloody plot twist. Remember the first girl? She came well, back. She attended that concert. Yeah, and she, and she wanted them. Was, was a All she was getting old in her career was circling, circling the drain. Yep. Yo, back in the day, I used to play this song by Mike Jones. It's called uh, "Back Then They Didn't Want Me." Now I'm hot. They all on me. Yeah, that's some real shit, and that's what's happening to our boy right now. And then she wrote a letter to your boy saying how good your bloody symphony was, and sorry about not replying, I just put my phone down and got super busy or whatever. Back then they didn't want me, now I'm hot, hoes all on me. By don't take way, her back, bro. I love you. No, she don't. So she love your clout. You too. Fucking dumbass. Later, they were married. Ah, uh, it's a beautiful moral of the story. See, fellas, don't jump in there. It's not over. Yeah. It's anyway, not over. A few years later, they got divorced. But because marriage isn't the end of your fucking life. People think you got to grow up, have kids, get married, and then the end. And then what? So you you went and you you get, got married at age uh, 20. You got married at age 20. Then you had your first kids at age 22, 23, right? And now what? You got your house at age, what, 27? If you were if you were back in the day, now you ain't getting a house because you can't they can't nobody afford a fucking house no more, right? So now you got a wife, kids, and you 27. Bro, you know you got like 60, 70 years left, right? So you think that's the end all be all to your life. Congratulations, bro. You speed ran life. Enjoy. Because weirdly, he cheated on his wife with the housemaid. Not that. I mean, he he made dope music, bro. I'm not. I don't blame him. I don't blame her. But I, then he married that housemate. Hooray! But then when he died later on, for some reason, he gets buried with both of them. It's kind of strange. But hey, <laughs> hey, sometimes it works out. Uh, Moving on to hey. the impressionist. Music. Fuck it, they were both, they were both, they both yours now. <laughs> now that's Claude de... The bussy. The what? <laughs> I think it's supposed to be the boys, but bro, that's the, the bussy. <laughs> you know what, you'd better go to Alright guys, welcome back to the Nord Nord Street. VPN, baby! <laughs> Today we're playing Assassin's Creed 3. That's a chat, good game. Chat, come on, chat, chat, chat. Come on, chat. chat. Oh, spamming Nord. 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 Go ahead, Nord, get. You follow her. Hey, welcome to the. I was about to pull up my Nord VPN, but I got it uninstalled. Cream team, sub cream. Uh, thank you so much for the great. Oh, sub cream. <laughs> Sorry, guys. The cleaners are here. Sorry, just just ignore the mess. I just I haven't cleaned up these bottles yet. No, it's it's just tea. It's just tea. What the fuck? <sighs> I just I stream 
for 10 hours a day. Not me. I can't do it. I'm it's not like doing the it. algorithm is against me or something. <laughs> The fucking algorithm. Yeah, that's what it is, bro. How come everyone is watching Asmon stream? <laughs> I'm not getting any new followers. I'm playing the Because your stream sucks. Games. <laughs> what more do you want me to do? It sucks. Say some controversial Just shit. Just a quick word from the sponsor. No. Say some shit here. like I hate babies. I fucking take a baby, I throw it on the ground, and I stomp the fucking baby, bro. Say some shit like that, bro. You'll have a whole bunch of motherfuckers watching you, bro. Is the VPN I'm telling you. you. Trust. So go to nordvpn.com slash internet historian for a huge deal on a two year plan plus four bonus months for free plus a 30 day money back guarantee. My God. Today we are going to be watching the Sell new out. Snow White movie. <laughs> Snow oh, White. Oh, I love seeing that Disney logo. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Guys, I'm just going to, I'm just going to get up and get some food. <laughs> He's taking shots at XQC. All right, I'll be right back. Exactly. 30 minutes later. <laughs> Hello, Norman. We want to let you know that you reviewed your safety report and determined that it violated our terms of service. Damn. Somebody snitched on you, bro. What the fuck? Somebody you snitched. My stream. Somebody snitched. Yeah, that's how I'd be. Stop snitching. Hello, my Nordlings. Welcome back to the stream. Can we get some ends in the chat, guys? No. Like, Whoa. No, my oh. That mods, mods. <laughs> bro, you got it, bro. That was that was definitely uh, bro. I ain't gonna say no. No, I ain't gonna say no names. I ain't gonna say Welcome no names. To the, I ain't gonna say no names. The ASMR stream for NordVPN. Today I'm gonna be drinking a, a can of Coke while I say the word Nord. Bro, what the fuck? Ah, Nord. Thank you for the tier three sub. <laughs> <laughs> With NordVPN, I can be out. Day 167, bro. Yep, you gotta keep doing stuff. Keep keep doing it, keep trying, keep trying, and you'll be the greatest streamer in the world, bro. Inside my house, Jack's Films house, Samito's house, Ordinary Things house. Bro, we just play, we just doxing like people? We just we're doxing people? The hot tub stream. Yeah. What does me? mean? How many hot dogs can I put in my mouth? Why, I'll just... <laughs> Oh my god, five thousand dollars donation. Thank you so much. You guys <laughs> Bro's taking shots at everybody, bro, and that's funny because a lot of fuckers react to this shit, but since it's an ad, they probably skipped this part. They totally skipped the part where he was talking shit about him. That's Some hilarious. Friends. Streaming's not for me. I'd rather go to nordvpn.com slash internet historian to get a huge deal on a two-year plan. Plus Hell four yeah. months for free. Hey, four months, Add baby. Over. Add over. Okay. Bro, fuck them. They charge an extra. Watching Netflix, are you? <laughs> All tucked in with a three-hour essay on good game good, and here's why. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Fallout New yep. Vegas is actually the only base Bethesda game. Turn that off. <laughs> for you, much less enjoyable. And Bro, what the fuck is expensive. this? We're going to the theater. Boom! Theater from the ancient Greek theatron, the most dramatic of Transformer. <laughs> it means a place for viewing. Okay. Here's a Roman theater. They were quite simple back then. You have the stage. That don't look comfortable. The auditorium and the vomitorium. Now, for a very long time, people thought that the vomitorium was a place where the Romans would gorge themselves, where they would eat so much that they would throw up and then gorge themselves again because they were so decadent and or the limit. But it comes from the word vomir, which means to spew forth, because that's where people go in and out. So vomitorium is just a dramatic way of saying the entrance. Now, Bro, why did you tell us this? Things are getting a lot more modernized. Okay. But they still didn't have electric. When so did they have cushions? They had what's called the limelight. I don't and like the limelight. And that's why they say, to be in the limelight, to be the star of the show, what they would do was take a piece of quick lime and heat it up super, super hot. Really? It will naturally glow very bright. You're, ser you're serious? Wait, 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 hold on. Super, super hot. Science, bitch. It will naturally glow very bright. 
When heated to 2,400 Kelvin, the chlorine reacts with the slaked lime and forms sodium hydrochloride and the calcium chloride and emits a bright white light. Source overheard on the bus. Sound like some bullshit. <laughs> They would then take reflective mirrors and lenses to focus the beam, and they would use that as an early form of the spotlight. The limelight is not because it's green, but because it's made from quick lime. In the modern day, things are a lot more advanced, and they can do all sorts of cool shit with like lasers going into your eyeballs. And I didn't know they were doing all that. But it's not just the tech that's had an upgrade, it's the architecture as well. In Elizabethan times, they had the yard, and you could okay. get in here for about a penny a piece. And that's where all the poor lot? people stood. Oh, okay. <laughs> Make it sure. It's like when you go to Oppenheimer and you end up with the worst seats in the IMAX. Theater. For real. Well, but thankfully, in modern times. For real, bro. Who the fuck sits in the front row? Fuck that, bro. Your fucking neck gotta be like this the whole two hours, that bro. Problem. We fuck kicked no. out all the poor people and Good. we sunk the floor <laughs> down low and put in an orchestra pack. Good. Now, these things are usually six to 12 feet deep. So they're not obstructing the audience's view, but having a giant hole at the end of a bro, you just gonna fall in that bitch. Dangerous. <laughs> so usually they put a big net there as well, and yet a lot of people <laughs> still get it. like a lot of people. <laughs> in 2011, oh shit! During the production of The Sound of Music. One of the lead actresses fell into the orchestra pit. Yo, ain't that old girl? Ain't this Mary Poppins? The Sound of Music. This One is Mary Poppins, right? Fell Somebody in died, didn't they? And was left paralyzed. God damn. The accident occurred in November 2011. Monica remains paralyzed from the waist down to this day, man. That sucks ass. From the waist down. In 2009, ass, a conductor, bro. not a superconductor, just a regular one, fell 14 feet into the dark pit and broke nine vertebrae and one. He made a full recovery work in row 24 healing Himes during his recovery. And now he plays the Okay. Angle. Mamma mia. And he fell on his pointy conducting thing. What the fuck? He didn't actually impale himself. At the Bolshoi Theater, a violinist died from his injuries after falling. 65 year old man fell into the pit in 2013. He survived the fall initially, but died the following day in the hospital. He had been working in the theater for four decades. Oh, seven. Hey, man, that sucks ass, but at least he went out in a place he really didn't fucking enjoy. And I would hope I'd be able to die the same way. This theater is prone to all sorts of accidents. By so the why the fuck we still going in there? But performers and musicians aren't the only ones falling into the pit. In 1988, an 82 year old man fell from his balcony box seating all the way down into the This is one of those I don't want to laugh at, but it's during the intermission, the man was sitting on the balcony rail when the usher requested he not, he tipped over backwards and fell. So this was his fault, because I'm like, how the fuck do you just fall out the fucking thing at 85 years old? He was sitting on the fucking rail. So it was his fault. Right. During a performance of Macbeth, he died. Very spooky. Sucks to suck. Already dead people are getting pitted. In 2016, a man sprinkled his friend's ashes into the orchestra pit at the Met Theater. Why? This happened during the intermission, and it was a sort of tribute to a mentor of his. But of course, people went, what the hell are Bro, you doing? Bro, what and the goes, fuck? Oh, uh, I don't know. And he flees the scene. <laughs> he just ran. He coughing, sneezing. <laughs> Bro just took off. I don't know. And he flees the scene. <laughs> I don't blame you, bro. Don't fuck around and find out. And people think, is this anthrax? What is this? So they call in the anti-terrorism. Oh my god! And the whole show. The roast random. What's up, Lexi? Evening. The incident occurred in 2016. The man responsible was seen by several musicians sprinkling a white powder substance in the pit. The ashes were of his friend Terry Turner, who died of cancer. He was not charged, and he wrote an open letter of apology. Well, at least they didn't charge. The anti-terrorism police and the whole anti-terrorism for the rest of the evening. Damn, good. I'm great, girl. How you? How you doing, Lexi? Welcome in. A quick intermission. Shout out to my girl Lexi. Hey, yo, y'all go, y'all go follow her. Uh, how do you do this shit? S O. How do I do a shout out? Hey, uh, chaotic. Help me out, bro. <laughs> how the fuck I do it? Or is it intermission? Ooh, 
Feeder TD. I am the Trap Master. The Trap Master. That's me. Do not ask. That's me, baby. Yeah, Feeder. sir. I am the Trap Master. Yeah, the Trap Master. I don't like that. Do not ask <laughs> me to reveal my secrets. I like that name. I have dedicated my life to the mysteries of Same old, same old. Working? Ah, uh, uh, I feel like you're supposed to be in a meeting? Ah, fuck that meeting. So many enigmatic we watching funny videos. Traps. Let us start with the most simple, yet devious, the wall trap. It what allows the, the actor to walk directly into the set piece. Ah, where did he go? Nobody knows. Cast your eyes over here to the genie trap. Now the victim stands on this dumb waiter, and a counterweight launches their hapless body up. Yeah, onto sorry. The stage. Yeah. <laughs> In the olden days, this circle of flaps would sometimes go on top, and then that would make the whole thing just one way. Okay. Now back when they made this thing, they didn't have hydraulics, so instead they'd have like six oh, stage like... hands pulling as fast as they could. Did it work? Sometimes Did you get it would be totally wonky, or it wouldn't open properly. Holy shit. Or Hell no. Nah. About halfway through. Hell no. Nah. Oh, oh fuck. Well, I guess that's it. There's only two. <laughs> Wrong. This is the, the trap door. Trap. And if I want to come back up again, this is called the sunroof trap. Very cool. Watch out for the closing doors on this one. It managed to trap Spider-Man's foot back in a production in 2000. What the fuck? Daniel was a, he was a dancer and seriously injured leg became pinned in the trap 13. door. Holy shit, dude. Me and the Green Goblin, we collabed on this one. Bro, All right, there's hell no. More. The Ghost Glide. What you do is stand on this slide of it, and it ascends diagonally, which makes it look like he's coming out of the ground. But the ladies are there yawning, they're going, ooh, short ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Five foot, five foot one, five foot two. Yeah, and the ladies love me. Damn. Five foot four. That's it. Five foot five. That's All it. The ladies now, I bet he you're six one. foot. He gotta go. What happens to the actor Ain't when no they way. go down these traps? Are they dead and gone forever? Ah. Yes, sometimes. In 1888, Frederick Federici. Was playing Bro, the role of Mephistopheles in Faust at the Princess Theatre in Melbourne. As he descended the trap at the end Is this of really the play, him? Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. He had a heart attack and died. What the Never fuck? Never seen again. So as you can imagine, Bro. with as many deaths, the theatre has become a highly haunted place. No shit! Oh, yes. In fact, Sometimes you can put your ear right up to the wall and you can hear two male ghosts wrestling. Can't fake that. Ah, another ghost hole. Yeah, that's crazy. This is Internet Historian. This is about uh, a theater, I guess a specific theater that a lot of people died in and apparently they got glory holes in. So, hey, cool. there it is. Inside. Yeah, I don't. You might get poked in the face. Died. That's why I wear the mask. Anyway, <laughs> that's why I wear the mask. The theaters do whatever they can to keep the spirits happy. I'm justice. See this? It's called a, a spotlight. Ghost light. Oh. When everything is closed, it is kept on always. Kept on for the ghosts. So that they don't have. Bro, these fucking. The dark or whatever. Bullshit ass jump scares, bro. At the Palace Theatre in London, there has been some ghostly activity. It seems to be bit of a hot spot for ghostly activities. And that's why they always keep two empty seats at the back so that the ghosts may sit there and watch the show. So that's why what? we traditionally kept a couple of seats off sale for the ghosts. For the ghosts. Because Harry Potter is so popular that we, we sell those seats now. Damn. <laughs> so most theaters close Fuck them. one day per week. And on those days, they the ghosts are left to perform oh. for each other in okay. their own shows. Okay, the ghost show. Like. Very much. I was worried about my own vagina. It oh, finally, contact. the vagina monologue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ain't no way. Right yeah. I wasn't always part of the elite. I ain't gonna lie, this is one of my biggest fucking fears. This. Bro, this is one of my biggest fucking fears. Oh my god. If I ever get this shit, bro, I'm never taking my fucking hat off. Ever. You know, I wasn't always part of the elite. In fact, bro, he might as well cut that shit from off. From a very young age, I grew up in an orphanage. Yeah. 
No, no, my parents weren't dead. Rent oh. in that building was just really cheap. Oh. But my parents showed me no affection. And as soon as they could, they sent me off to boarding. Sadly, school. that's my feet, goddamn. But boards were always there. Cut it off, bro. Not mine. I tried to run away. I tried. But they caught me. Damn. And boy, did they throw the book at me. Alas, I did not dodge in time. <laughs> I Didn't spent the duck. next few years in, in a coma. coma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A Native American town. I'm a hold on. Okay. <laughs> and the people there taught me how to read American. Read American. They also had a local library, and I spent my days buried, buried in books, learning as much as I could about the art. Let's get that and dub. Once someone noticed me buried under those books, and they rescued Hell me. Nah. I knew I wanted to teach default character presets like yourselves. All about I also Shakespeare. Read Edith's note. I started Googling Shakespeare and I uh, got kind of distracted. So what? I don't know, here's, here's a wave file. You can do something with this. I put him in like a classroom or something. All right, attention, everybody. I am your new teacher. You are a bunch of troubled inner city youths. All you know is shoot gun, fail test bro i ain't gonna lie this is from the movie called the freedom riders this is one of the greatest movies ever fucking made quick synopsis this school is full of fucking minorities and shit and it fucking sucks they don't take school seriously because they live sucks because they live in the fucking ghetto Anyways, this white lady shows up and she's like, oh, I'm going to make your life so much better. And then like this black student's like, oh, what the fuck you know about living our lives? You're a white lady, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, the white lady makes the the the, the fucking minority kids want to read. And basically they take their lives seriously and they become successful because a white lady came to say today to you. And crime. <laughs> But Go watch it for yourself. It's actually books pretty good. And reading and stuff are actually pretty epic after all. Now, <laughs> the oldest known written language is what, Mr. Single Parent Household? Single I'm Parent teach, Household. But you're never going to get through to me. Oh, really? Well, what if I go back in time? Ooh. Back in time. In the Ooh. Long <laughs> long, very few could read. But to be fair, most of the written languages were kind of shit. This is cuneiform, the very first written language. Bro and said it's shit. Too much punctuation. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. That, that look like a motherfucking cheat code for real, for real. The, very first the fuck is this? Language. And Konami it was code. Too much punctuation. Then eventually came along the Yu Gi Oh! And they invented emojis. But they would call them <laughs> hieroglyphs. Oh. Anyway, the typical written thing would go like this. A uh, message for you, sir. Big bird, <laughs> Big man, bird stick. man with stick. Circle. Man, talk to uh, the bird. Bills. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Eventually, that became quite annoying. So the Phoenicians uh, who were a kind of Lebanese. Oh, oh very no. Very progressive, especially oh, for those no. days. Now, they came up with a better idea. They started going, ah. Hey, that sounds a bit like an A. <laughs> and so on and so cool. on until we had a proto form of the alphabet. Now, the Greeks thought that was pretty neato, but they said, let's come up with an even better version with 22 letters, and soon that will be like English. Nobody give a fuck! Well, let me tell you about something highly relatable. A this book you say. Oh, what yeah. the fuck does it? Well, let me tell you about something. A book you say. Uh, what do I plug it into? Your mind. Highly relatable. Ha -ha. The surviving Greek works. The greatest hits were the Iliad and the, the Odyssey is now, actually really good, bro. Read. Hey, hey. Damn. And this stuff wasn't written <laughs> for a very long time. And instead, it was memorized and performed. And when they performed it, they used one of these. A heart. A lyre. Oh, yeah, a lyre. Now, this was great for conveying tone. Sorry, the heart's so, bigger. Here's a soft bit. Doodly doo. Doodly doodly Now, the Iliad starts with this guy, Menelaus. Yeah, Menelaus, of king of Sparta. And yep. he has a wife, Helen. And she's yep. a very fine lady. Yikes. And then the Prince of Troy shows up. His name is Paris. And he goes, Prince of Troy, yeah. Damn, shorty. A wooga, a wooga. Hey. Hey, that's what he'd say. You know, it's crazy, bro. Yeah, and Freedom Riders, uh, she was trying to teach them by, like, mixing 
uh, their 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 area with like the information, which is actually how you are supposed to teach people. Right. You don't teach them the way you learn. You teach them the way they learn. Right. Um, and it's crazy because it's like I've seen some like stuff on Instagram. I'm sure it's all on TikTok. But it's like there's a lot of new teachers teaching kids and they're like using hip hop music and they like rapping and shit. I'm like, yo, I mean, it's kind of cringe. But I feel like that shit might work. Like, right. for real, for real. And he and his boys abduct her and took her all the we'll way We'll see in the next 20 years. Troy. Now this makes Menelaus quite miffed. Hey, hey, hold on there, Buster. He declares a turf war. But he uh -oh. can't win it alone. So he calls on his homies. Odysseus, his homies. king of Ithaca. And Achilles. Odysseus, the best baby. shooter of all time. Damn. But Achilles is not in the mood to fight. So the whole of the Iliad is basically spent trying to convince this guy to get involved. Yeah. Please. No. Please. No. Eventually, they win the turf war by being very sneaky. They make a giant horse, which Trojan is the horse. of Troy, yep. and they leave it at the front gate. And then they That's bring the, the horse saying, inside. Oh, it's a free gift. You win. We're walking uh, away uh, now. Uh, and meanwhile, thousands of soldiers go off and hide in some bushes. Yep, yep. Now, the Trojans are very suspicious, but they can see that's that a horse. Yeah. They're actually sailing away into the horizon. Yeah, some so of them are leaving. Like, yeah. Oh, it must be real. Must be real. We've yeah. won. We've won the many years' war. Watch this shit. But actually, there's almost no one on those ships, and there's a surprise inside the horse. Watch this Later shit. that night, yep. when everyone's asleep. Surprise! Set seeky everywhere. What? And also some soldiers wearing. I'm about protection. to say. <laughs> they get out and they open the gates. Yep. And, and then yep. Out of the bushes, yep. Running into the. And city. they fucking die. Everybody. Yep. The end. After they win, that was the war, crazy. Odysseus heads back home to Ithaca. However, on his way, he, he gets, starts making yep. beef with Poseidon, Poseidon yep. the god of the sea. And yep. Poseidon is mad at the disrespect, so he sends Odysseus on a long ass detour, and that detour is the story of the Odyssey. Pretty epic, right, kids? It's pretty cool. <laughs> Whoa, Tish, that's fire. I'm starting to come around. That Odysseus guy is literally me. Yeah, I'm gonna try that horse trick on my ops. Homer from. My fucking god, bro. <laughs> Homer's Odyssey is not a character in the story. He's the guy who tells the story, and then people wrote it down. Now, Penis? Oh, pen. Oh, bro, bro, bro. bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, who tells hey. the story, and then people wrote hey, it, hey. it down. <laughs> Now, moving chronologically to the next big one, you've got the Bible. And for all practical purposes, oh boy. this is basically an oral tradition, too. Oh boy. Most people were illiterate by this point, and the yep. Bible was written in Latin. And yep. pretty much only the clergy knew Latin. Yeah. So they would be the. So basically, whatever the fuck they wanted to say was in the book, they said was in the book, whether it was in there or wasn't. And nobody could say otherwise because you're fucking peasants and you can't fucking read it anyway. So you just believe whatever the fuck they tell you because you're just a fucking dumb peasant. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. The one to yeah. recite it. And then guess what? When they started saying shit like, oh, God hates gays and shit, fast forward a couple generations and now people love gay people. Well, let me. We got to update this shit. Because there's gay people now. And even though there was gay people all the time, it's like, well, shit, let's update. This is the new King James version. Yep. That's how it worked. It says that the cute lady at the front should go on a date with me, please. Yep, and you just have to believe it. Are the rules I yep. say at the book did. There was a the book said it. version into English, the Wycliffe's Bible. Mm. And you better believe that thing was a threat to the order. So they made that illegal to own. What? And if you were found with an unlicensed copy, the punishment would be death. Yep. So it remained. The Bible was read to the people. Yep. Now, by the 1300s came Chaucer, who wrote the Canterbury Tales. And that was a pretty big deal. Get I've heard about this one. Book now. Oprah! Because it's one of the first significant works written Wait, wait, in wait, is that Oprah? Wait, no, is this really Oprah? Is this really Oprah? On, uh, this, like... Bro, Oprah is so skinny. Bro, I remember Oprah used to be overweight. Now. Oprah lost a lot of weight. Holy because moly. Congrats to her. Significant works written in Middle English. It describes a bunch of people making a pilgrimage from Southwark Wakanda. to Canterbury. <laughs> Here, 
to here. Okay. Which was the longest journey anyone had ever made in Damn. the 1500s. Damn! This is not true. Now, it's a whole series of stories, and most of them can be boiled down to, how come if everyone is on a pilgrimage, you're all so focused on material stuff? Mm -hmm. Hypocrites much? Dong. War, 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 kings, queens, blah, 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 And blah, they've updated blah. all the textbooks from Middle English to regular. Yep. In 1601, King James I... Yep. Yep. It's the King James version. We updated that bit. We so, like gays now. <laughs> you know what? Let's everyone have a copy of the Bible they can read. Yeah. Let's do a King James Bible. I like <laughs> Bible but I'd love to be in the title. And a committee, a committee of scholars to rewrite the thing in English. Yep. God's language. <laughs> Put, speak American. Years. And that brings us to Shakespeare. And he's a huge deal. Oh, look. Time to go. Time. Yep. Oh, oh, Maybe next sir, semester. Oh, but sir, we're supposed to do penis inspection day today. Excuse me? No, no, there's no time. Roll the end card. The end. All right, that's the lesson. You watched the whole video. Or at least you had it on in the background while you scrolled your phone. And I couldn't be prouder of you. There's just one more quick thing I want to tell you about. Theater props. For example, this gun. Now, the thing... Oh, look who no! is. Oh, I, I no! No! I know what you're thinking, but it's just an act. We all know that the real Lincoln is dead. Well, you know, when he fell asleep on the tracks of the Underground Railroad. Anyway. What? This thing's super realistic. Although the trigger is a little loose. Right, row. I'm, I am so glad. I am so glad I did not watch this while I was high, bro. Because, like, how long is this video? How long is our reaction? Like, fucking maybe, maybe an hour? Maybe? I can't right. believe you did. Bro. If I watched this while high, I guarantee you this would have been a two or three hour reaction. Did that? I guarantee you. I won't you tell it. anyone. I guarantee you. Yeah, it. You know, in fact, good news. I'm gonna make you my little protege, and I will be your protojo. <laughs> and um, I got so many more lessons um, to teach. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh Still boy! Still here. Yes, yeah, just a little cleaning. Oh no good boy! News. Next video is almost done. It'll really? Be incognito mode, and it's about uh, the art. And uh, the next main channel video is also nearly done. Uh, That'll be out if you're looking for more content in the meanwhile, we have another channel called Story Mode. The Metal Gear Solid and <laughs> Four Spoken videos are especially good. Don't Explain Metal Gear Solid One. Video. You know what? Thank you for watching. Looking for that, more content. That actually does look fun. Was Story Mode? Let's check out like a quick glimpse of it. Where is it? Story Mode. Boom. Let's see this real quick and see if it's really as funny as I think it's going to be. Hey, brother, your link doesn't fucking work, bro. Story mode. All right, well, I'll find it one day or some shit. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.